Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate what the Collectral is and how it works. Collectral is data collection tool which allows you to collect data from Android devices into your ERP content server which is basically WordPress plugin. WordPress plugin adds functionality to WordPress site. So let's see how the Collectral is working. It consists of three components. The first one is basically the registration part where you register in main website, collectral.com. Here you get the point ID to the location of your collector ERP. Why is this required? It's because Android mobile devices should recognize location of your ERP and the software where you are collecting. To do that easily you need to provide your employees the key itself which will be used by Android device to connect to your server. It's important to mention that we don't store any data on our servers. All data which are being stored are basically on your website and we are not responsible for the data security. We only store these two values, the key and the URL of your website and in the future maximum the ID of device itself might be stored. The reason for this is that we need to control registration processes. We don't store any data which you collect. Collectral is a free application. To install it we go to get started at the right corner of the page. Then go to download application. Here we have Android mobile devices. It's free and you just install it. Then you download Collectral ERP. You press here and download plugin. After that in plugins page you can install the plugin. Press add a new plugin. Upload plugin. Then, choose the file, and here choose Collectral ERP. Install it and activate plugin. That's it. Now you have here the Collectral plugin. And now let's register the ERP location. This is the value. You put here and this value that value you need to put here and save it. And after that we need to register the device itself. So let's delete this device. So now it should be clean. Let's go here. Add server. Because you can have multiple servers. Then we add username. Which is being visible in devices part. Here you can see your username. This will allow administrator of WordPress sites to recognize who this device belongs to. That's why you add your username and provide server description. To recognize which server you are connected to and where you are sending data. because you can have multiple servers connected to your Android mobile. From the account page of the Collectral website you take the key and insert this value as numeric key and you save it. With this action you registered here, let's go to devices and check. See, demo user. Demo 2. Since you just registered it's not used for now and it does not have any groups assigned to it. So this means you will not have forms even if you synchronize. This button in the right top corner is for simple synchronization. In device groups you can create device groups and each group has its own device. If you don't want to assign devices manually you can set auto register and device group and all new registered devices will be automatically registered in group 2. If you have 1000 devices, it will be hard for you to do it manually. That's why it's good to enable this option. After you register your devices disable it for security perspective. Now let's go and set a device to group 2 for example. We selected 2. It is not selected automatically because it was not in auto register mode and it was just created. That's why this device was not registered in group 2 automatically. In future we will have new functionalities because we constantly develop the application ERP component. Now let's create the main card forms. Add a form named Form 3. Here we select to which group it belongs to. So all group devices which are in group 2 will have Form 3 within their mobiles. We need to add a section. Section is basically something like a page in the book and field as a component which people need to collect. In this case we set it to text and we set it as mandatory and visible. 
mandatory means that the user must collect any data and visible means that it will display this value in the description. The default value will not be set. It's basically default value which people need to see. Let's add a field. Field numeric or example. Here as well we will select numeric. Add section. Section 2. Here we will create multi-field. The type can be selected as multi-select or single-select. Multi-select means that you can select multiple choice. In case of single-select you can have one choice. We will select multi-select for now. We will demonstrate value 1 and value 2. Add field. The same default values here. So that people could select these values. This is important. Add field. Take image. The type will be camera. So we created form 3. It is assigned to group 2. So when we synchronize it we will see form 3 here. All devices which are in group 2 will get form 3 instantly. And now they can start collecting data regardless where they are. And you can start analyzing them. For the field we add text visible field. Save. Field numeric. Let's change the section. Multi-field means we have multiple choices and single select means we have only one choice. Take image means that we can take image. As this is for the first time you might be required to open the access to your camera. After that you can continue taking images and save it. Text visible field is displayed because it is a visible field and you see it like a short description for the data you collected. So you can decide what you want to set here. So we have the collected data forms. We have form 3. You can add server etc. Now let's synchronize it and see what's happening. Let's go to collected data. This is the description and you see the data you collected. Here are value 1 and value 2. Single select. Value 2 is selected and this is the data you need to see. This is how the collection is happening. Also you have a filter here. Let's choose section 1. Field 1. This is all related to one application. This is how all is working. Right now the application ERP part especially is in state of improvement. So in future we will add a new functionality. You can see attached devices and groups. You can edit or delete the group. But be careful with the delete operation as the data will be deleted and as the data might be not consistent. We will add disable functionality in the future. In devices part you might see that the status is old device. This means the application is not used for long period of time. We can change the interval in configuration page. If the device is 5 days old but it didn't send you any data it will be recognized as a device which is not even being used. If we change the interval from 5 days to 100 they will be seen as active. This is the URL link of your server and if it's behind the load balancer. It's better to use the load balancer link which you have. Here is the key which should be the same as on Collectral.com website. They should be synchronized as this key is used during the registration of your ERP. The plugin part of the Collectral ERP component is free so you can open it. With the PHP code any PHP developer can modify it and it's up to you to modify or improve it the way you wish or put new reporting functionality. You can ask our team to do the changes as well.
This is how the application works. The application can be used in almost any field and any company because this is universal. You generate the required forms in order to collect necessary data. Basically you can use it for anything, you can use it for marketing purposes as marketing distributive application. Can collect data on assets etc. As mentioned previously all data will be stored on your server and we only store these two values for now. In future we will store also the unit ID of this device so that during registration process we can recognize the device itself. This is the way it works, simple but powerful. Thanks for watching.